YouTube Sam here. Well, I just checked the antifreeze in my uh, daughter's Ford Explorer here, and uh, it didn't even register for cold weather hardly. It was like something like 43 degrees or something like that. I don't know what it was, but it was as high as it could go on my little tester here. Got that little tester right there. And uh, yesterday it was two degrees out uh, in my area, so that's not a good thing i'm uh lucky that things didn't crack and i hope they didn't crack or have any problems i didn't notice any leaks underneath or anything and it's been in the garage uh since the really yeah, cold weather check, and i usually do that uh i assume this car was from around here when i bought it so honestly i just haven't even really taken a look at it but it's something when you buy a new car uh, you should check because who knows where this must not have been from a cold weather area, the last guy that owned it. Um, anyway, so I went down, I kind of been looking around and I figured I'd show you where the plug was and uh, to drain the radiator. And it's over here on the passenger side down below. It's pretty easy to get to. Now I got it up on jack stands and I put the, take taking the tire off of it and everything like that. That'll make life a lot easier. Uh, so I highly recommend you do that, but yet again, I'm not responsible if you do anything I do. If you don't like the way I'm doing it, don't do it. Alright, and here we are on the uh, passenger side of the vehicle, and right there, that white plastic nut. Everything's plastic. Anyway, uh, pull that. That should let the antifreeze flow. Now, something I did notice is this right here looks like it's meant to shoot out go down inside there and drain out these holes down here uh that's yet to be seen if it'll actually cleanly do something like that all right and it appears to be a three quarters wrench here and this seems to almost turn hand it doesn't seem to be in there all that well uh so i don't know could be it'll just come out by hand enough because I'm just using my hand and down so. through that with a little bit is coming out so I'm going to try it this way I'm going to go ahead and turn off the video because I don't want to make a mess of my camera while doing this and I want to get it done so when I'm done it doesn't seem to come out all the way I've got it out as far as I can get it and there's something holding it in there the rest of the way but it's draining pretty good uh, we'll let her drain for a while when I, if I fill this bucket up, I'll go to another one. If I run out of time, I'll go over to my refrigerator bucket. I'm not going to go through an entire change of fluids on this. Uh, mainly this was just to show you where uh, to drain your radiator uh, from. So, because sometimes that's the hardest part is figuring out where, where do I drain it at. Um, so anyway, I'm not going to go through everything. If you want to watch a video from me, go check out. I have one on my truck that shows me changing all the fluids and how to do that. Um, quite honestly, go check out Chris Fix. Chris Fix has awesome videos, and one of his is a complete overall changing of the fluids. So, and I'm not going that far with this anyhow. So, uh, go check his channel out. So, I think I'm done here. This is Sam, Jack of all, Master of none. You all have a good one.